This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Chevy Silverado uh, 1500. That's a half ton crew cab LT, which means it's leather. Uh, it's four wheel drive with a 5.3 liter motor. Has 94,500 miles. It was purchased as a theft recovery direct, directly from an insurance company. Um, generally, they salvage the title. In this case, they gave us a clear title, which uh, is unusual. Um, I've seen them throw cars that were stolen off the showroom floor and driven across the street get a salvage title. Just means that it was totaled due to theft. They paid the victim a total loss, and that gets you a salvage title. Sometimes they just leave the title alone, and this is one of those times, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, it's a black truck, so it's got uh, the black truck issues. If it was white, you would never see any of this stuff, but black shows off every little chip or whatever. I'll try to make my video show as much. The tires look like they're probably 10 or 20 percent tread. Probably could use a set of tires, um, especially if you're going to come here, pay tax, dock fee, and drive it home. Um, which, by the way, if you do come and pick it up, you are paying taxes. You'll pay your state tax rate, uh, whatever that is. Say, for example, it's a 3% state tax rate wherever you're coming from, and you're going to add 2.1, which is our city ta tax rate. So if your tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay 5.1% plus a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire, and have it shipped. We have a recommended shipper. You can call him and get quotes, pay him to pick it up. He knows our shop hours and everything. Uh, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. No taxes, no dock fee or anything. There's a little crease right here on the edge of the hood. Right there. You can see it's got the rock chips. and It's a black truck. <laughs> you know, if it was a white truck, boy, it would be in really great shape. It's still a pretty good looking truck for an 04. There's your passenger front wheel tire. When we bought it, there was a bunch of water spots from like it looked like it'd been under a fountain on just on the passenger fender on the on the passenger side of the hood had a bunch of water spots. They came off about 99% of them, but uh, it was a lot of work. It was at our detail shop for a while getting buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed. I see a little something down here. Oh no, that's a body line. I think. Oh, that might be something. That might be a body line. I don't know. This is definitely a dent down here, down low. Drive a passenger rear wheel. Tire. Like I said, if it wasn't black, it would be in really good shape. It's black, so it shows it all. Unusually, with a tow package, the bumper's not all hammered. Usually, uh, they've hit the tow hitch a million times. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. There's your Chevy bed liner. It's a little 4x4 sticker glue that's left from somebody putting something on there. Here's your driver rear wheel. By the way, that spare is like glass. There's no tread on that spare at all. That's uh, for rim purposes only, I would say. I wouldn't put that spare on for one one rotation of the wheels. The driver's side looks great. So basically I would summarize the exterior as the hood has some rock chips, some I call them kitty scratches, real light ones that if you were to color sand would probably come off. Got that little ding. Then on the passenger lower bedside it's got that little uh dent in front of the uh, passenger wheel. Other than that, it looks great. There's your fender. 
passenger fender, there's your core support, your motor, obviously. We put a factory uh, battery, and that's an AC Delco battery that we purchased from uh, Watson Chevrolet. There's your uh, driver fender, kind of boring video here. Usually we have more to talk about, but uh, this is a pretty straight old truck here. Here's your There's a little scrape right here on the roof, but I guess if you're unless you're Shaquille O'Neal, I don't think you're gonna see what's going on up here. All right, there's your driver rear door panel. The interior looks great. Got a cup holder here. There's really nothing to report. You got your plug-ins here for your speakers. If you want to have some quiet time, <laughs> throw the kids back here and plug them in. That's what the carpet looks like underneath both of the uh, mats. Let me get in the car here. There's your driver door panel. You got heated power heated seats on both sides. You got Bose sound, which when you're booking it would be premium sound. It's got a little bit of wear here, but this is like it's not a tear. You don't feel that at all. It's just the color worn off it. Here's your power seat up and back. Here's the Power seat there. Let's look under the. Here's under the mat. Let's see. Our videos are designed not to sell you, but to inform you. We're not going to puff it. There's a little scrape right here. I don't know what this white stuff is there. It'll probably scrape off, but I'm not doing it. That's that's for you to do. I don't want to damage the seats. It's a really good looking truck inside. Parents are upset. Oh, got to turn the radio off. All right, let's see. Got the change oil light on, which is normal when we put a new battery in. For some reason, they do that on not on all of them, but on some of them they do it. Engine hours twenty three sixty seven, miles ninety four thousand six hundred and five. There's your tow haul. On and off. Let's see if we got the radio. We got the My radio. My mother's at the, at the school, but unsurprisingly, not Bob. Using the steering controls, that works. Let's see. Let's try the air. Yes. On and off. Yeah, that's blowing nice and cold. A little bit of wear on the buttons here, which is kind of normal on Chevys. Usually it's completely white, so it's kind of unusual. That's it. That would tell me that that guy was a channel surfer. All right, let's see. We've got the OnStar buttons here. I'm not touching those either because then they'll call me and want to sign me up. There's a little bit of peeling uh, uh, dye on the dash, which is really normal on these things. Um, actually, this one doesn't have much of it, to tell you the truth. There's Cruise. Let's see. It's missing the tilt level lever. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Let's, oh, let's try the. Uh, put it in neutral. Four low. Put it in drive. Bang. Okay, that's definitely four wheel drive low. Lots of torque there. Put it in reverse. Make sure we have reverse and four low, and we do. All right, let's put it into four high. And oh, oh, duh! I didn't put it in neutral. <laughs> That's why. There we go. You got to put it in neutral, people. Now it's in four high. Now we put it in drive. And car coming, I don't want to wreck into him. And yeah, there's four high. I can feel it tracking. And you could definitely drive at a higher speed. Put it in reverse. Back up. There we 
we go. Alright, let's put it in auto four wheel drive. Back into drive. There we go. Yep. And reverse. I just like to go through all this stuff so you can see it working and we're all on the same page here. And in reverse, that works fine. Back to neutral. Back to two wheel high. And back to drive. All right. Nice rig. Um, now, another thing that's happening lately, we're pretty busy. And we have cars on eBay. We have cars all over the place. And if you don't get your uh, deposit in, I don't care if you're on eBay and we have an agreed upon price on eBay or through our website or whatever. If you don't get a deposit in and somebody else shows up with cash money, they're getting the car. So, we just had a whiner on eBay who waited seven hours to make his deposit after we agreed on a price and he clicked, you know, and we accepted and and what did he do? He didn't make his deposit and what happened? Somebody showed up with $16,000 in cash and then he threw a fit. Um, that is his problem. So it'll happen again. So if you really want the car, be ready to make the $500 deposit immediately. Okay? I, it sucks to have that happen and it's starting to happen more and more often. We have a lot of cool trucks. We're, <laughs> we're the real deal and we want everyone to be happy but we have to run a business. We do not know for sure that somebody is going to uh, pay us just because they promised to. We will, we will accept the cash before the promise. Anyway, let me jump on it real quick here. Anyway, this is a great truck. Uh, runs great. Could use some tires. Has a few little dings on the, on the uh, hood and down on the lower passenger bedside. And that's about it. Thanks very much and have a great week.